For skiers, few places in the world carry the mystery and intrigue of Japan. The fabled deep snow and powder skiing are part of why we're here. But there's something else as well. The Kodama. Ancient Japanese legend holds that the forests are home to tree spirits, known as Kodama. Respecting these spirits is said to earn their protection, while dishonor invites retribution. For years, we'd heard that in many parts of Japan, skiing in the forest is frowned upon, as it may upset the tree spirits. We're here to venture into the mountains and find out. But first, we must travel. I mean, once you arrive in Japan, it's kind of just blam, colors, lights, and trying to make train connections with ski bags and way more stuff than should be carried on these little trains. Tokyo is an unbelievable city. I mean, there's so many people and so much going on, even at all hours of the day. Just a mass of humanity. And it seems like everywhere I needed to go, I was swimming upstream against the people. You get on the train at the train station. You ride on the train for a couple of hours and you walk out at the other end and all of a sudden you're in this winter wonderland. Three hours away from Tokyo, we're in the middle of the Japanese Alps and it's dumping and it's just us. A sleepy town of a few thousand residents, Miyoko is known as much for its natural hot springs as for its seemingly bottomless snow. Miyoko is undiscovered by foreigners, but skiing has a long history here. Our search to understand the myth of the Kodama brings us to the home of Uchida-san, one of Japan's early backcountry skiers. The ski culture in Japan is kind of interesting. Everybody loves the snow, they love skiing, but the majority of the skiing population is from the bigger cities like Tokyo and they primarily just want to ski sunny groomers and go when the weather's nice and everything. For a backcountry skier it means you're going to be in a place that has you know, less competition for tracks. You really get that sense of you know, solitude and you know, discovery and exploration. So maybe the myth has scared them all away, but to be honest with the exception of our crew, Nobody is skiing off the trees here. It also makes it a little tough in the sense that the weather reports, and they're geared more toward that groomer skiing type. So you may see a weather report that says lightly snowing, maybe partially sunny, and that translates to it snows a meter and a half. You know, when it starts snowing here and they call for snow, it's not like anywhere else. I mean, it's really hard to comprehend how, how much and how fast it can snow here. Well, that doesn't happen very many places in the world where you can get three feet of new snow overnight and nobody thinks it's any big deal. It's just the norm in Japan. I've never really felt the presence of any tree spirits in that sense, but in the forests and the mountains, it's a very positive energy. It's a very comfortable place to be. There is something about skiing here that's kind of like special, you know? I mean, it doesn't really feel like, like anywhere else. 